so the issue hasn't gone away. I want you to speak to the uh, the counter argument that those on the other side of the fence would present. And you covered a lot of ground there, so I'll try to take it piece by piece. But those who would say, give us a response. Wait a minute, don't nearly 50% of the people in this country pay no taxes at all? That is very true, and that's because almost 50% of the people in this country don't own any wealth. The lower 50% only own 0.3% of the total national wealth. The richest 1% owns about 40% of the total national wealth. That's why they pay 40% of the taxes, because they've got all the money. <laughs> all right, and do you think this will change? We just got an indication from the Senate that maybe it will not. Well, the Senate, the Democrats and the Republicans, they can fight with each other all the time. I'm with Occupy. Occupy is not partisan. Uh, we look at both parties. We look at the list of contributors that both parties get, and we notice that both of the names of those two lists are the same. So we're not looking to the Democrats or the Republicans to change anything. We're looking to people, people like us, people like the people yeah. who are here today, Yay. because yeah. we are what's going to change we are not the Democrats or the Republicans. What tax rate do you pay? Uh, I pay about 30%. And why do millionaires like Mitt Romney pay a lower rate? He's closer to 15%, 13.9%. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you look at IRS figures for the past couple of years, um, the 1%, the wealthiest 1%, the proportion of money that they, that they pay income that comes from jobs or salaries is only 19%. Most of them don't even have jobs. Rich people don't need jobs, darling. They get their money from uh, uh, investment income, from stock dividends, from interest on money, and that's only taxes capital gains, which is only 15%. So even though they make a zillion times more than we all do, they pay a much lower rate, and they get so many deductions and tax credits and, and tax breaks that they don't even have the time end up paying even that. And he said, well, of course they pay 40% of the taxes out there because they they've got all 40% of the money. What should the number be? If not 40% of all taxes paid, how much should they be? At the very minimum, we should go back to the tax rates that Ronald Reagan put into effect. And that was, uh, if I remember, it was 70% for the, 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 the top bracket. Before that, it was 90% under uh, Kennedy and Johnson. Those tax rates, despite what the right wingers waved their arms about, they didn't bankrupt us, they didn't drive the economy into the dirt, but they did fund the government, and that's what we need. Taxes are what governments are what civilization needs to survive. If you have no government, you have no civilization, and then we live like Somalia, I don't like that. So if you're looking at an overall amount of percentages that the top 1% should be paying, if it's close to 40% now, what should it be? What sounds right if not about 40%? Well, if you're asking me personally, I'd say that at about 70%, 70%, and I would also tax capital gains at the same rate, because that is income, that is money they're bringing in.